Welcome back to Rifki Sastra Perwata channel Creepy Storytelling Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy stories The 5 most famous ghosts in Indonesia Ghost stories are a product of folklore These stories are usually passed down from generation to generation Like the ghost story of Maria or Aria Simanis Jembatan Ancol who has been the guardian of the Anchal area since time until the ghost story of Kuntilanak, a ghost from Pontianak which is widely known by the Indonesian people here are some ghost stories in Indonesia which are believed to have come from folklore Kuntilanak one of the many types of ghosts found in various regions in Indonesia has its own story with the city of Pontianak it said that the establishment of the capital city of West Kalimantan is inseparable from the ghost who is often described as the figure of the terrible long hair woman. According to the book The Origin of Cities in Indonesia Tempo Dulu, written by Zainuddin H.M., the Kuntilana ghost is said to have always disturbed Sultan Sharif Abdurrahman Al Qadri. He was the first sultan of the Pontiana kingdom. Once upon a time, Sultan Sharif while walking along the Kapuas river was often disturbed by Kuntilana. He also fired cannon fire to repel the ghost as far as the place where the cannon fell indicating the location of his empire was founded. A number of shots were fired and finally succeed in driving the Kuntilana out of the forest which later become the important location of for Pontiana city. Another version of this ghost story is that the area is now Pontiana. It used to be inhabited by the ghost of Kuntilana. Local residents often call it the ghost Puntiana. The name Puntiana is an abbreviation of the woman who died giving birth. The figure of the Kuntilanak is depicted in the form of beautiful woman with long hair. Kuntilanak likes to terrorize the villagers to seek revenge. It's said that she also enjoys eating babies and injuring pregnant women. Stories about the ghost Kuntilanak also exist in Javanese society. It's said that these ghostly figures like to appear and annoy. Not only that, Kuntil Anak can also resemble familiar people such as girlfriend and people closest to them. Kuntil Anak is said to like certain trees as a place to live. For example, the hibiscus tree that grows leaning to the side. Simanis Jembatan Anchol The ghost story of Simanis Jembatan Anchol is one of the famous folk tales in Jakarta. It said that the ghost who guards the angel bridge is named Maria. She is also known as Mariam, Maria, or Mariam by the resident of the capital city. Aria is an indigenous citizen who often looks for wood in the Anchal area. In the period around 1860, the Anchal area in the coast of North Jakarta was still full of swamps, forests, and shrubs. In this place also stood out the building of villas where the Dutch traveled. One day, while looking for firewood, Aria was approached by two thugs who wanted to rape her. Aria died from the slash of machete from the thug while trying to escape. The thugs then threw Aria's body into the sea. That say, the spirits of Aria or Mariam are not calm. Some people say that they often saw Arya spirit standing on the Anchal Bridge. The story was then told from generation to generation until now. Leak In Balinese mythology, Leak is an evil witch. Balinese people believe that Leak can only be seen at night by summons with certain abilities. It's said that during the day, Leak turned into an ordinary human. At night, he is in the graveyard looking for organs in the human body that are used to make magic potions. The magic potion is used to change Leak's form into a tiger, monkey, pig, or into a Rangda, a Balinese mythological figure. 
if necessary. Lea will also the internal organs of living people. Wewe Gombel Wewe Gombel is a ghost story popular in Javanese tradition. He's a ghost who likes to kidnap children but not hurt them. It's said that kidnapped children are usually children who are abandoned and neglected by their parents. Wewe Gombel will return her child if parents and residents go around and make sound from the kitchen utensil. Once upon a time, Wewe Gombel was the spirit of a woman who died by suicide because she was being chased by a resident for killing her husband. She had the heart to kill her husband for having an affair with another woman. The husband cheated because his wife could not give birth. Before she died, the woman was crazy and lived a vagrant life. Another version say, Wewe Gombel has come from the hills of the Gombel area around Semarang. There, it said, be the site of the colonial era massacre so that it became haunted. Kuya The story of Kuyang ghost is very popular in the island of Borneo. This ghost is the form of a woman. She can remove his head from any part of his body and fly with his organs such as heart, liver, intestine, and kidneys. Kuyang has two fangs on the left and right of his mouth. It's used to eat its prey. Kuyang looks for a prey at night. In tricking its victim, Kuyang can turn into a bird or a cat. Kuyang used to come to a woman who has heavily pregnant and ate the fetus in her stomach. In addition to Kalimantan, this creature is also known by Sumatran people as Palasi. So, based on this story, which ghosts care of the most, for me all these ghost stories are scary and I don't want to meet one of them. Rifki Sastra Perwarta, Indonesian, Creepy Storytelling.